Theme, Research and Awareness, Unit, Mind Maps, and this is video four. So by now we should have all created a place marker on our world globe uh, where our houses are scattered around the world. If we've done that, we should have a list of names down the left hand side here of everyone that's placed a place marker. What you're going to do now is you're going to click on your place marker, so mine is Mr. Wood's house. I'm going to locate the place marker that I've tagged for my house, which is just here. And what that will do is it will bring up the title and the description that I wrote about my house. Now if you remember, what I asked you to do here was to either write a short description about your house and the area that you live in, or a short story about an event that might have happened at your house or around your area. I'm just going to edit this. I'm not going to change any of the text. I'm just going to edit it and add something to it. To do that, I go up to the edit button. I can now edit the title and I can edit the description. Before I do that, you'll notice next to the description word here, we've got three buttons. Well, we've actually only got two, but there are three. The first piece of text says plain text, and that's what I'm using to write inside this box. This button is called the rich text button. If I click on that, I get a range of options at the top here that I can use to format my text within my description. I've also got the edit HTML button, which I'll talk about in just one minute. Now, make sure you've selected the rich text button. Scroll down to the bottom. And after your last word that you've entered in your description, place two line breaks by pressing enter twice, like that. Once you've done that, we're going to insert a picture into our description. And to do that, we're just going to use the insert image button here. If I click on that, it pops up with this window that says, please enter the URL to an image. What that means is, I can link to an image that exists on a website. So what I actually need to do is go and find a picture that is on the internet that I want to use here. So I'm just going to press cancel. And whilst this is, this is open, I'm going to open up another web page by using my tabs at the top here. You will have tabs in Firefox and Internet Explorer if you're using that web browser. I'm going to open up a new tab. I'm going to go to google.co.uk I'm going to do an image search, so I press on the image button up here, and I'm just going to search for pictures of a boy. So I'm going to put a picture of a boy on there and press search images. Now a lot of pictures come up with, uh, that I can choose from of pictures of boys. Now the reason I've chosen to put a picture of a boy on there is because I'd rather put a picture of me on there, but I don't have a picture of me on the internet anywhere. So what I'm going to do is once I've searched for boy, I'm going to click on the clip art button here. And I'm going to find a picture of a cartoon image of a boy that I can put inside my description. So I'm going to use this character here. If I click on that picture, it will take me to a screen where the picture is all on its own. I can then right click on the picture and go copy image URL. So the URL is the web address where that picture is located on the internet. So click on copy image URL. And what that's done is it's copied the web address. So if I go back to my map, and in here, I click on the image insert button. And now I'm going to delete this text, right click, and paste the URL of that picture that we've just seen. If I press OK, it's now put that picture into my description. If I press OK again, and then I press Save at the top, and then I press Done, and now if I go over to my place marker and click on it, you can see I've got my title, I've got my description, and I've got a picture that I've placed within that description. What I'd like you to do now is to go and do the same. Think of an appropriate picture that you could put in your description. Search for that picture on Google and add the URL to your description.